to the Mercury 9.9 .9 Bigfoot and I fitted the rubber on top as suggested in the instructions. I've trimmed the front and I've trimmed the back. Uh, obviously peeled it off the paper, cleaned the surface, stuck them down and I'm ready to offer up the kit to see if we need to put any more rubber because it comes with another one millimeter piece of rubber in case this isn't bedding down nicely. Well feeling that that isn't touching any metal it's not touching the bodywork it's not touching any metal on the fin and it's missing the anode underneath so we're ready to do the next stage with this which is to fit all the bolts and nip everything up and have another check when you buy this particular kit you get the necessary rubber strips you get the plates so that you can put them together with the fixings and a spacer bar it's basically top plate hydrofin spacer bar along the bolts and then the other plate underneath that but as I say there's plenty of instructions and videos for you to look at I'll just point this towards you so you can see that not only have we got the rubbers on the top cavitation plate which is two millimeters we've got one millimeter here underneath so when they're sandwiched together everything's nice and comfortable but we'll need to check that in a moment or two when you come to doing everything up we do offer you a loan of a torque wrench uh, or you can buy them for 30 pounds when you pay the 30 pounds you get the case the torque wrench the allen key if necessary and the socket they all come as a kit when you've used them if you've got them on loan just send them back small parcel rate get proof of post or signed for so you can prove you've sent it back um, but if you want to buy it so you've got it in stock then please consider that that's the end of this particular section video and we'll come back to more, more fitting in a minute. Okay, we've come back to this Hydrofin. It's the Hydrofin DRS for small and we tightened up the outside bolts and left the inners off and then we fitted the inside ones and tightened them up and now the outside ones have gone loose so I just want to show you how to tighten those right you hold your ratchet in line with the drive not at the end of the handle thus you can put pressure on without too much pressure it's a bit like a built-in torque wrench so that one's now tight that's tightish, tightish, tightish. This one here is loose. It's not too tight yet. They're still relatively loose. And then we'll be getting ready to get out the torque wrench to torque up each and every single bolt. tight enough as well. So we're now ready to check that it's on but we're also ready to do the final torque wrench settings which we'll do in a moment. Okay we're going to get out the torque wrench and we're going to finalize these nuts and bolts. This is the wrench that comes on loan. It also comes with a socket. We need to put a spanner underneath here on the nut in a manner that will tighten. 
Now the torque wrench is set to 5 newtons. There's a click. There's a click. Another click. It's a very subtle click, it's not an obvious click. There. We just need to do this side. Just a click. Click. And the last one. And a click. That's all there is to it. So these have been tightened down to the torque wrench setting of 5 newtons. And in a moment we'll just let that settle and then we'll just do a final check. And I'll show you how to do a final check with this particular setup if you haven't got the torque wrench to hand. We've done that initial torque wrench setting and now I just want to show you how I check things if I haven't got a torque wrench. Basically I'll hold the ratchet in line with the drive, not at the end of the handle, and I'll put what pressure I can that is reasonable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double check, nine, 10, 11, double check the back one, it's good, 12, so that's two more to go, yep, can you see how I'm just feeling how much torque my wrist is putting on to try and balance everything out, that's now done, it's fitted, it's in line and it's all tightened up lovely, and that's your Hydrofin DR small fitted to this Mercury 9.9 .9 Bigfoot. Okay, so we'll just use the torque wrench to double check. You'll know that we've put torque wrench on previously. Click, click, fine. Click, click, fine. You know we've already nipped these up beyond the first torque wrench setting, which was five, um, and we've nipped them up with the ratchet without the torque wrench, and we did that to be just a little bit higher than the five newtons. As you can see, the ratchet is clicking, the torque wrench is working, and when it clicks, saying that's you tight enough. We went around with this only because I can feel the quality of that nip tight and I can feel they don't need any more. Basically that is your hydrofin fitted ready to steer your boat both in forward direction and in reverse direction and that will be a great way of controlling your boat both to moor up and to stop wandering in the wind with these types of keelless small craft. This particular one clearly on a bit of a mucky river. But this will make the day out a lot more pleasurable. Anyway, thanks for watching. So as we say, it's finished. Just want to give you a quick look underneath because we mentioned about the anode and the fin underneath. So let's just go and have a look. So underneath we have an anode come fin. And as you can see the plates either side at the furthest out bolt setting have worked out just nicely with a slight curl to the rubber lip 
let's just turn the propeller you can see there's adequate clearance at the top let's move up for you and then we'll have a little look a bit closer and as high as I can go so you can see the location is really good I have actually cut down some of the bolts I'm just about to finish this last one at the back there you go a little bit of sandpaper over those will smooth them out nicely but that's a really good fit in there thanks for watching